Welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and this is going to be my email address. So we're going to do CAT 2000 paper question number 57. All right. So this is the question here. In the table above, these are the values for X and these are the value for Y and these are the options given to you. Then it says uh, it's, there are three constants and which of the following best describes the relationship between Y and X. Okay, so if you're giving CAD, then you must have understood that it very rarely the answer is this, very rarely, right? So you need to keep it aside. And using uh, exponents and all that, yeah, I'll come, this cannot be the answer, fine? So I'm down to only these two options. The answer options would be must only between these two. Right now I have el not eliminated these two options. I have kept them aside. First I'll check between these two options. Now if you see y is equal to a plus bx, it's kind of a linear equation, right? So it's kind of a linear equation wherein it increases by certain amount every time. But if you see it's becoming 4 and 8 uh, and it's becoming 14 then 22 then 32 then 44 uh, I get a feeling that it's it's not a linear equation let me go ahead and try this because it seems to be more of an quadratic equation rather than a linear equation right so y is equal to a plus bx plus cx square now since there is very less time in the cat test uh, or in any other test which you'll give so you have to be creative while solving the question now y is equal to a plus bx plus cx square right so if x is equal to 1 y is equal to 4 so put 4 is equal to x equal to 1 that is a plus b plus c now I've got this equation right now similarly let's put this y is equal to 8 that is equal to 2 that when x is equal to 2 that is a plus 2 times b that is 2b plus 4 times c. So if I know the value of a plus b plus c is 4 and I remove 1a from here and I remove 1b from here and I remove 1c from here so I can say that uh, what do you call it b plus 3c is equal to 4 right because a plus b plus c is equal to 4 a plus b plus c over here will be 4 4 will come here and b plus 3c will be equal to 4 right now similarly let's get one more equation and find the value of b and c now if you put this equation 14 is equal to a plus 3b plus 9c fine I've just substituted the values here which is nothing but a plus b plus c similarly I'm doing the same thing plus 2b plus 8c now this over here is equal to 4 that means 2b plus 8c is equal to 14 minus 4 that is 10 right so I have this equation and I have this equation with me so if we go that way and try to solve it if we simultaneously solve both equations we get b to be equal to 1 and c to be equal to 1 if we simultaneously solve this equation and this equation now if a is b is 1 c is 1 a is equal to 2 right so if b is 1 c is 1 a is equal to 2 so if you've got the values of constants now it's a time to check whether it holds true or not now y is equal to a plus bx plus cx square let's substitute that in here right so y is equal to 44 should be equal to a a is nothing but 2 plus bx 1 into x x is 6 plus c x square c is 1 x square is 36 so which is again equal to 44 right so you need to check it for all of them because it should hold true for all of them right so if you check it here uh, 1 2 plus 1 if you check it here this is gonna come out to be 2 plus 1 plus 1 which is nothing but 4 fine if you check it here that is going to be a plus bx that is bx is 2 plus c x square that is nothing but uh, 2 square that is 4 which is again 8 so if you check for this you check for this you'll check for this uh, it is gonna come out to be the same over here it's gonna be 2 plus uh, that is 3 plus 9 which is nothing but again equal to 14 if you check it here that is 4 uh, sorry 4 plus 16 plus 2 which is gonna give you the same answer so that means this is our answer here right so I hope everyone understood this question it just took a little bit long in explaining it to you guys but once you're in the in this uh, 
once you're really solving it, it's going to take just like half the time. So my email address is this, right? Okay, so thank you very much and I'm going to see you next video.